At this time, I'm going to call the Vice President of TA Surface, J.P. Patafio, to speak in regard to the People's Climate March. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the meeting. It's good to see you here. For those who are um, thinking about the future outside of the great world of Local 100, the issue of the climate, what people like to call climate change, I happen to call it climate disaster, is looming large. We just got to go back a few years to Sandy, and I'm sure there's plenty of people in this room that when Sandy hit, it affected you. Some of us in more disastrous ways than others. I know quite a few bus operators lost their homes and were homeless. Well, from that time till now, no change has occurred on the political level regarding how to deal with climate change. And climate change means what? Means drought, means storms, means hurricanes. It means weather that's going to not only affect your life, but more importantly, the life of your children and your grandchildren. So what Local 100 did with about 40 other unions in New York City is we're going to be at the People's Climate March next week. They're having a big meeting at the UN. And the UN tends to talk a lot and do very little. And the people with a lot of money don't really give a shit because if their house by the shore gets destroyed, they have five other houses all around the world, right? That's what wealth brings you. It makes you able to go onto the top of the hill while the people on the bottom of the hill are suffering. And that's where we live. That's where our family lives. As I told one person, I don't want my children to be a prisoner of the earth. I want them to enjoy this earth. So that means we have to protect our environment. For those of you that follow this issue about climate change, it's real, it's happening. Sandy was one indicator. The flash floods that we have, the severe drought in California. What we're asking people to do is to come out that day. Bring your children. Because in transportation, one bus and one train equals 200 cars. So the road forward out of climate change disaster is really right here in front of us, right? It's us. If we get the cars off the road and they're taking trains and they're taking buses, the emissions go dramatically down. And of course, more transit for us means more work. So there's two things that connect here. One, if you care about your children, you don't want the environment to go down the, down the drain. You don't want a crisis. You don't want it where the air is polluted you can't breathe it, and you can't drink the water because it's polluted, and you can't get the right fruits and vegetables because the bees are dying off. I mean, this is what's happening. California has been in a severe drought for six months, and that's where we get like a third of our crops. The second thing is it's your work. If people don't take cars, how are they getting to work? They're getting to work with buses and trains. So that means your livelihood. Right? You can make that money. So I just want to push that people come to the march. It's on our website. We got some flies out. Go look at the information and take it very serious. I have an 11-year-old. I have a 9-year-old. I don't want them growing up in a world that's a prison, that they got to walk around in a gas mask, that they got to buy bottled water everywhere they go, and that the animals that they look at are ones that are in a book because half of them are becoming extinct because of change. We shouldn't sleep on this, it's very real. So please, next week, we're asking members to come on out and go to the website of our, of our great union and it's, plenty of information is on there. I wanna thank Tanya for the opportunity. Have a good day, brothers and sisters. Thank you.